An organized response to the Coercive Acts is going to be in the form of the First Continental Congress. This is going to be held in Philadelphia in Carpenter's Hall, not in Independence Hall where the Second Continental Congress and a Constitutional Convention are going to be held. This one's in Carpenter's Hall, and it's going to be held between September 5th and October 26th, 1774. Here they're going to uh, pass what's known as the Suffolk Resolves. And basically what it's going to say is it's going to say that the course of acts are unconstitutional. It's also going to advise fellow colonists that the need to bear arms may be uh, necessary. Yeah, but if they're, trying, they're basically holding on the, uh, to the hope that things are going to simmer down. They're going to do a wait and see type of thing. Uh, but uh, what they're also going to resolve is that there's going to be a general economic sanctions against British British goods, uh, particularly uh, when it comes to non-importation, non-exportation, and non-consumption of British goods. They are going to meet, uh, or at least agree to meet, uh, in the early, late spring, early summer of 1775, April, May 1775, to see what the British response is going to be. Now, the significant thing about this, res this resolution is going to be is it's petitioning the king directly. By this time, and until we, all the way until we get to 1776, the... American colonists are no longer viewing Parliament as a legitimate authority over the over the colonies. They had already rejected parliamentary authority when they said that there, since we didn't have any representation on it, that any taxes they pass are going to be invalid. Uh, so th the Americans had already made the break away from Parliament well before this. But now the only connection between the the, the American colonists and the Euro and the English is going to be in the form of the crown. So any Anything that they have resolved to do is going to be uh, dealt with the, the king himself, George III.